This is really as close to a model of the Earth as we're going to have. This device sets up a swirling mass of liquid metal as a mimic of what's happening in the deep Earth, but in a way that we can directly probe the, the flows, the, the rotating motions, and be able to look at them in more detail than we could ever do for the Earth's core. He hopes this gargantuan model of the core will help explain something strange about the behavior of Earth's magnetic field. It's never fixed, but constantly fluctuating. So while most people think of the Earth's magnetic field as just being a simple north and south, it's really very, very complicated. So there are patches of weaker field, patches of stronger field. All those are, are, are moving about the planet, some becoming weaker, some becoming stronger, in a very complex way. One thing is clear, though. If the magnetic field is continually changing, then that must be caused by how the metal moves within the outer core. Early experiments have already hinted at what could be happening. Dan injected fluorescent dye into the rotating machine. The results suggest the core is a place of great turbulence, filled with eddies and currents. So you might think of the core like the atmosphere of the Earth being a very restless place with storms and fronts and, and bad weather.